How do you come up with business ideas? Do you have the latest million dollar idea? Well, I just read a book called Disrupt You by Jay Samet and he outlines his ways for you to come up with the next million or billion dollar idea. So I'm gonna pull up my notes that I took here. Uh, the main point of this book really, uh, Disrupt You, is to write down every single day, what are your three biggest problems that need solving? Uh, and he says, if you do that every day, then it rewires your brain into thinking about possible ways to help other people. And all business is, is really helping other people to solve problems. So we want to get into the habit of solving problems. So the book Disrupt You by Jay Summit um, says, type out or write out this question. What are your three biggest, what have I got here? What are your biggest problems that need solving? And I've actually just typed these out or written these out uh, like seven times for a week to start practicing. Now, a problem might be um, I don't wake up in time or it might be uh, I don't know how to quit smoking or it could be, uh, you know, like for example, you know, taking uh, when shoes were created or invented, the person who came up with Velcro was solving the problem of someone having to tie shoelaces, right? Because that took a longer period of time. Um, solving the problem of someone who's so busy that they, they can't, they don't have time to go shopping. There are services now that send food to your door. That's solving the problem of someone who doesn't have time to go shopping. So there are lots of ways. All businesses really is solving problems. And Jay Samet outlines that in this book, Disrupt You. Um, let me just read a, a couple of my notes that I took here. Um, write down your three biggest problems every day for 30 days solve problems for others solve one person's problem and then solve a thousand people's problems doing exactly the same thing uh he said that uh in order to to, to really come up with ideas and to be focusing on business as well change the people that you spend time with so if you want to build a business if you want to be an entrepreneur start hanging out with people who are already entrepreneurs and know how to build businesses. And if you're not doing that, if you're hanging out with people who aren't entrepreneurial, then how are you going to be inspired or learn how to build a business? Um, every obstacle is an opportunity in disguise, he says. So whenever you're like, oh, this is annoying. This is frustrating. Oh, I can't believe I've got the same problem over and over and over again. What do you do? Well, according to Jay Summit, the author, you go to your cheat sheet and you write down or you answer the question, what are your biggest problems that need solving? What are my three biggest problems that need solving? And then try to come up with possible solutions. And one of those things out of the 30 might be the next million dollar, billion dollar. It might just be a next 100,000 or $50,000 idea. That's all business is, solving people's problems. And they pay, it, pay you for it. Here's another example. You don't know how to be good with the opposite sex. There are dating coaches. That's solving a problem. Dating coaches are solving a problem. You don't know, uh, you can't get rid of that stubborn 20 pounds, then a personal trainer or an exercise routine or a diet regimen solves that problem. Problems, problems, problems. Think, think of problems that need solving. Write them down and start rewiring your brain uh, around that. Um, let's have a look here. We've got, uh, start each day with a positive attitude, commit to lifelong learning. Um, you can, uh, here's a good business idea. You can create a buyers and sellers marketplace. So you create a place for people to buy and sell. For example, um, Airbnb doesn't own any hotel rooms. It just creates a place for someone with a room to advertise to someone who's looking for a room. Um, you create a platform for people to buy and sell. Uh, eBay is people, you know, eBay doesn't sell any products. eBay just creates the market for people to come and do business with one another. This is an idea. Again, Facebook creates no content. Facebook creates zero content. Facebook is just a place where people come and post their content. So creating a marketplace can be a next billion dollar idea. Interesting thing in the book, he says 95% of private cars sit idle, which means 95% of all the private cars owned in the world don't 
ever really move. They just sit idle and do nothing. So he was suggesting like in the book, Disrupt You, is you could come up with a way to rent your car out for an hour at a time or two hours at a time. Disruption is what he's talking about in this book. So there you go. Try that exercise. What are your biggest problems that need solving? Just write those out. Um, and uh, yeah, see whether you can come up with your next million dollar or billion dollar idea. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel um, or on the podcast, I want to send you some free stuff. So I'll send you my how to stop procrastinating formula. You can use that to finally get things done. I'll send you my personal notes on my three most favorite books which will teach you how to make more money, how to be charming, how to persuade people through body language. If you're in the US watching this, um, just text the word uh, James1 to the number 44222. That's James, the number one. Send a text message now. Or, and for everyone else, just go to jameswanick.com forward slash free stuff and I'll send you a whole lot of free stuff. So go ahead and post a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you're listening on the podcast, thank you for listening and I will catch you on the next one.